to love your neighbor. As you love yourself. Not just your best friend. Not your BFF. But to love your neighbor. You don't always get to choose who your neighbor is. Your neighbor won't always look like you, won't always sound like you. Your neighbor won't be as educated. Yeah. I'm not. You. You're not what? But your neighbor is the one you come in contact with every day. Whether walking in the grocery store, whether driving down the street. Your neighbor is the one that cut in front of you without a signal. <laughs> your neighbor is the one who lives below you or above you that seems not to go to bed at all <laughs> but to love your neighbor as you love yourself on these two commandments hang and depend and rely all the other laws and his word was True then.
Amen. intends to do, his main objective okay. is to get to the finish line. Because once he gets to the finish line, okay. there awaits right? him the prize that he's trying to obtain. Right. And so it is on the Christian right. side that we run this race and we don't run it in vain. Right. But we run the race so that we can obtain Christ Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith. We, the runner arrives yet to arrive, and once he arrives, um, he doesn't ride, he, the Christian run, runs the race, and we run the race not in vain, but to get the, the calling of Christ Jesus. Paul said we must keep pressing to win Christ as the runner uh, wins the prize. And so in the process of trying to get to that point where we are uh, trying to get this prize, Jesus Christ, we have to make sure that we have to forget what's behind us. Hello, somebody. Now, the pastor put up, put up on, on display a very ambitious goal to build this recreation center out front here. Now, some of the old thinking folks, some of the old thinking folks, some of the old thinking folks don't really want to do it or they're hesitant. And I want you to understand that God is a forward-thinking God. He's not, he, listen, I, he already took care of our sins on Calvary. So the, the, why should we even go back there? And yes, like when you were in school, you did some crazy stuff. We all did. We drank, we smoked, we, we, we did a little pop, and, and we, we carried on. Amen? Amen. We, we did all that. And, and you know, we don't, we don't want to tell nobody, but we want to just keep that, that pristine image that we have. But everybody's done something that we are ashamed of when we were in school. And so in order for us to get rid of that past, we have to just shut it down. So when people start talking to us about, I remember when, well, the, the wind is coming and gone. <laughs> you, you're, looking at the, you, you're looking at the new me in Christ Jesus. And so, do you remember when we used to run the streets? Yes, I remember when we used to run the streets, but I ain't running the streets no more. I ain't. don't know. So sorry, sorry, tell me how your donut was. Cheese. What's ABC Mouse? Hmm. Have you seen the ABC Mouse commercials? Yes. I want to hear it in his own words. Don't feed the boy. <laughs> you have one. All right, let's. No what? All right, go back in the house, boy. You gotta use the bathroom. Go, 